In this video, I'm going to show you how to dump PS3 games using a Blu-ray drive on a Windows or Linux PC. All right, everybody, it's time to move on to a system that I have yet to cover in any tutorial besides Steam Deck, and that is PS3. And we're going to kick it off by showing you how to dump your own physical PS3 collection using a compatible Blu-ray drive, and this works on Windows PCs and Linux PCs. And the process is very straightforward, so let's go ahead and dive in. Now before we get started, this is going to require you to have a compatible Blu-ray drive with which to rip PS3 games with. So over on the RPCS3 website, they have a very handy list of compatible drives that you can use to burn your, or rip your own PS3 games rather. And the list is pretty extensive, it's not like just one or two drives here and there, like this is a good selection of drives that you can use to rip your Blu-ray discs. And I'll include links to some compatible drives here in the description if you don't happen to already have one. So if you need to pick up a Blu-ray drive for which to do this, there will be links down in the description. But what if you already happen to have a Blu-ray drive in your computer and you're not sure about the model number? Well, there's a couple ways to check. You can open up my computer, find your disk drive, properties, hardware, and it will tell you the model number for your hardware, so WH16NS40, and then you can compare that to the compatible drives, WHS, or WH16NS40, there we go, so my drive is compatible. Another method is to go into your device manager, find your uh, DVD, CD-ROM drives, and hey, there it is again, the model number, so a couple ways to check. But once you have a compatible drive and you know that it is going to work for this process, all we need to do is download the Disk Dumper Utility by 13x Forever. So again, this is available on Linux and Windows, so just choose the version that you need. So we're on Windows here, so we're just going to grab that. And once you have the Disk Ripper downloaded, just go ahead and get it extracted. Open it up and run the executable. <laughs> and I already had a PS3 game in my drive. Hold on. Okay. So when it first opens up, you will see a prompt to insert a PS3 game disc. So go ahead and do so now. Insert any PS3 game disc you have into your compatible Blu-ray drive. The program will read the inserted disc. And it will look in its database for a matching key for that game. If your game happens to be kind of obscure and there isn't a key found, you won't be able to dump it, but that should be the rare, rare case. But once you get to start disk decryption, you can just click on the start button here. It'll analyze the file structure and begin dumping the disk. And again, PS3 games are large, so this is a 42.86 gigabyte game of Metal Gear Solid HD collection. So just bear with it while it does its thing, because, again, this is going to take a while. And once the dumping process has completed, it will check to make sure that it is valid. And if you see check marks across the board, that means you are good to go to use this file on RPCS3 or a jailbroken PS3. And you'll just find the dumped game inside the same folder of the disk dumping utility, so you can just open it up. You'll see that it is in jailbreak format, so good to go no matter where you want to use it. So then you can continue just ripping your discs from here. You can take the one you have in out, put in another one, just keep going until you have them all dumped. But for my demonstration purposes, we're just going to leave it at the one because it takes so long. <laughs> but just as a quick example, you can load this game up inside of RPCS3. And there we go. And there is the copy of Metal Gear Solid HD collection that I just ripped using my Blu-ray drive. So RPCS3 emulation has come such a long way that it is very, very enjoyable now. It's been enjoyable for a long time, really, but just recent progress has just been so amazing. But with this easy method of dumping your own physical discs, it makes it easier than ever to enjoy, especially if you have a large PS3 game collection. But that's going to do it for this one today. As always, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it informative and it helps out with your emulation projects. 
But I do have a couple of big favors to ask here at the end. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like, dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's tutorial. And if you haven't done so already, hit that sub button, ring the notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keeping it going, you can check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping us going and bringing this content to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers, thank you so much for being awesome and believing in what we do and helping us keep it going. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.